Uh, how you doing guys? My gaming addiction is back and uh, today this is going to be part two of uh, modding the Game Boy. Um, before I showed you guys how to uh, repair the screen the when it had lines down. Uh, this time I'm going to show you guys how, how, do you, uh, how you can change the buttons, the AME buttons, the uh, uh, crosshair buttons, uh, the LED diode, and put a backlight on here. I finally got all my stuff in, so um, yeah, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need a uh, tri-wing screwdriver to open one, two, three, four. Five and six uh, screws. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so as soon as you're done removing all the traveling screwdrivers, pull up hard gently. And right over here is a cable that's attached to this motherboard. Just pry that off very gently. There you go, it came off. Um, when you guys are taking this apart, I recommend you cleaning them because a lot of them get dirty and whatnot. Um, what we're gonna do now is because I'm gonna be removing this switch. I don't want this switch here. Um, we're gonna remove uh, one, two, three, four screws. Uh, they're Phillips, double zero, so uh, just use those. And uh, that's removed. But uh, I want to clean this out a little bit just so one second. As you can see, there's a bit of dust and build up over here. Just move this. Alrighty. So, quite a bit of dust. So, I have my dust blaster right here. Computer uh, dust remover. It's going to. There's a new button right there, neon blue. Um, in the description, I'm gonna show you guys where I got all these parts. Uh, check out the website. Uh, it's called, I think it's called Keech Catch Bend or something like that. Uh, very good, uh, very good place to find screens and uh, buttons and all that kind of stuff. But you can also find this stuff on uh, eBay. And I'm gonna put uh, some links to, in the description for that. So that's what it looks like, like so. And I'm gonna put these back together. Then I'm gonna screw it back in. Okay, so that's the first part. You see the switch works now, works, lo looks actually pretty good with this. Um, I'll be back in one second, so I'm back. That's done for now. So we're gonna concentrate on this. The easiest way to remove these screws is any, any screw that has a, um, a white circle around it, like this, has to be removed. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so as soon as, we, just, let's just remove these. Safe place. It's sitting right over there, but I'll get it next time. And we're gonna pull up on this gently, but a lot of these get stuck at sometimes. And it's been uh, taken off. I just pried it up using the little screwdriver. Uh, just take your time with it. Um, these are pretty dirty, so I'm gonna go and clean these pretty soon. But like I said before, I'm not gonna be using these buttons, so I really don't care. I'm gonna be using the neon bl uh, blue ones, so they're gonna be put off to the side. But this, I'm actually gonna be cleaning out. And this is what I'm pretty filthy. Now, 
what most people would like to do first is I like to do the diode, but before we can do that, I would like to remove these two screws right here. And I'm gonna cut this piece right here in the plastic white piece. So first we can fit the screen in, but I can have to remove it so then I can do the diode because I don't want the plastic to melt. So grab your uh, Phillips head. These are um, double zero screws as well. The other ones are actually a little bit bigger. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, these are the double uh, zero ones. And here. And then just pull up on the screen. go now this is how much room you have to work it's a, it's a little narrow gap you don't have that much uh, room to work in here so be very careful when you're doing this um, here are my blue diodes that I got so I'm gonna be using those pretty soon but here's my screen my screen I'm gonna be replacing the new one with the uh, backlit screen and the polarizing film so uh, let's just put these up to the side um, the first thing I want to do really before we get started fucking white tabs off so I'm gonna put this in here like so and then let's see if I brought my tools yes I did You're gonna to wanna to grab your mini diagonal pliers or something that cuts really well. Find out where the screen is being kept. So right here to about here. And I'm gonna put a little mark right there so I know. And right there. Now I'm just gonna take the screen off because well, I'm not gonna be using anything just yet on it. You have to cut this piece off so the screen will fit. If you don't cut it off, then the screen's not going to fit right. You're not going to be able to close down your, uh, your, uh, it's not going to be able to be sealed up right. So right before there, like so. Let's see where I left my mark. Right there. there the other one's right here somewhere okay got that hole oh, that fucking hit me right in the face um so that's it basically that's how it's cut so as soon as you get a cut it should look something like this um i did make a mistake you can't really pull this out unless you get rid of this part right here so that's my bad just be careful when you're putting the di removing the diode right here and putting the new one in that you don't uh, touch this right here. I just like to push it in like so, so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't uh, melt or anything. Uh, for this part now, you're gonna need to uh, get your soldering iron out and a soldering sucker. Um, and basically, what you want to do is you want to solder these two points right here, this one and this one. Um, they're right above the uh, the, uh, the contrast wheel. So be careful not to uh, damage the contrast wheel or any of that kind of stuff. Zoom in on this. Alright. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm doing this by myself and it's kind of difficult. Usually I have a camera guy here. Okay. 
Okay, so that's gone. I, uh, I don't know if the, you guys got all that. Hope you did. Let's just do it one more time. Okay, let's just see if uh, the diode comes out. Okay, let's zoom out. There's the uh, red diode. We don't need this anymore. Now, when you're putting your new diodes in, any of that kind of stuff, make sure it's a three millimeter two prong one, like this. The top part, which is the positive part, goes at the top like so. Like, it goes in here like this. Okay, I can't really fit in right now. Okay, like that, if you wanna, hold on that all right um, I already have one cut somewhere right here yeah it's this one right there so I'm just gonna use this one oh, if it stays on got a little bit of tape Keep it on. And uh, you're gonna grab your uh, lead-free, or uh, lead um, uh, 0 0.6 millimeter high-tech rosin core solder. You're just gonna solder this point on. Uh, make sure that the plastic still stays down. The white uh, piece of plastic you don't want to get burned. Tape. There's the uh, there's the blue diode. So here comes the tricky part, and this is going to take some time. You know, get best do you know get, have patience. Don't um, don't uh, rush through this because if you do, you're going to fuck it up. My friend uh, when he did this, he cracked his screen on his, and uh, I accidentally cut the the uh, uh, one of the ribbon cables on this uh, when I first uh, when I first tried it. So be careful when you're doing it. Um, don't be too fast. Uh, what you're going to need is a, um, a knife, and uh, it has to be pretty thin. Uh, when you're going in here, make sure that uh, there's a, two layers to it. So make sure that when you're cutting, that you end up getting both the layers. As you can see, I'm actually making a lot of leeway. This is what exactly what you want. You want it to be see-through and gray. You see this uh, green right here that's still left? You don't want that. I'm still working on it, guys. Like I said, taking my time. Um, I actually found that using a scalpel works a lot easier because it gets deeper. Um, so yeah, if you have one of those, actually dollar store, dollar analyst, they sell them for a buck. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you as soon as it's done. Okay guys, it's finally out. It is fucking finally out. So that's what it's supposed to look like. There's still some residue left. Um, grab some goo gone in a cloth or some rubbing alcohol or maybe some Windex and wipe it off from the inside. Make sure it does not get on the motherboard. All right, I'm about to do that now. Peace, I'll be back in a bit. As soon as you get that in, it's time to solder uh, your points. Uh, this usually comes with a 100 ohm uh, resistor. So that's gonna go right here. The red is gonna go on the left. And the black is gonna go right here on the right, right there. Not not on this top one, but on the bottom one right there. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna actually end up uh, screwing this back into place. If I can. Uh, come on.
All right, there we go. All right, so as soon as that's done, let's start soldering this uh, back into place. So at the end of the day, she looks something like this. All right? There's many uh, YouTube videos on how to solder them and put them in different places, but it really doesn't matter. These are, this is the easiest way and the best way, uh, in my opinion anyways. So we're going to pop this in. Batteries are in. Let's give it a test go. Oh yeah. Very nice. So I'm going to show you guys how to pop this screen off and put a new one in, but I'm going to clean this first before I do anything else. So I'll be right back. So we're just going to keep going around like so. Just cut off all the edges, all the access that's on here. And again, I like to use a scalpel. Uh, works really well. This, just take the access off. Yeah. So that's good. And now, since I got too much shit in my way, uh, we're gonna take the film off first. This does have protective film around it. So remove that before you do anything. Get that nails like me. go and then just take the uh, sticky part off like I said before this does have its own uh, sticky uh, tape so you don't need to use the glue that I used the double-sided uh, tape that I used I just like to use it because it will stick longer um, and you just put it on top like so that look at that brand new screen and uh, now we're just gonna concentrate on the buttons um, basically uh, Here's the new buns here. The A and B buns here. And the start button, which really you can't do much about. Can't change that to neon blue now, can I? Can I? <laughs> and let's start by taking this apart, putting this back to where it was. Um, also, I forgot to mention, uh, let's just grab some, a little bit of duct tape, or uh, sorry, not duct tape, uh, electrical tape. Like so, and uh, put it around the uh, resistor and the uh, the cable so it doesn't uh, you know accidentally touch anything and fry it or any of that kind of shit 
Uh, we don't want that, right? We're here to make the Game Boy better, not fucking make it worse. Uh, shrink tubing also works. If I had that, I'd be using that right now, but unfortunately I don't, so. Um. Like that. And uh, just basically put it back to in, put it back together. Uh, make sure that this goes in an in in appropriate way. Make sure the speaker goes in first. Come on, you fucker. Just the cables are kind of getting in the way, so I'm trying to... You can always cut the cables, I'm just being lazy right now and not wanting to do it. Alright, excellent. these back on So we got that back up, that's all good. And uh, now it's time to put this back here. Make sure you uh, put it back gently. Don't, uh, don't just shove it in. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna close this up. Fucking get this thing to close up, Jesus. Alright. Couple the batteries out. Time to get your uh, tri wing screwdriver out. Pop in our batteries. Pop it back in. 
this is what it looks like now. Pretty cool, huh? Um, here's the uh, blue neon buttons right here. The side port. Uh, like I said before, check the descriptions. I'm going to show you guys links to my e uh, to the eBay accounts that I got all this stuff from. Uh, like I said before, the the, the site Keech Bent, I think it's called, sells all this stuff. Uh, these buttons actually cost me two bucks. All these. Uh, cost me two bucks, but shipping was like nine dollars because I live in Canada, right? So um, Let's just pop in a game right now like Zelda and see how it looks Oh, this will be cleaned up a little bit, but see if you can see that